So as most of you guys know by now, scamming is a big issue in all Roblox games with trading and unfortunately that also includes jailbreak. So today I'm going to be giving you guys 5 ways to avoid being scammed in Roblox jailbreak trading. So let's not waste any more time now and let's get into this. So this first one is an obvious one and it is just don't trust people who want to borrow your items. Most of the time people who do this type of stuff just leave the game right after you accept the trade and they never really end up giving the items back so just try to avoid those type of people and don't trade with them. Now this next tip is a smart one, it's also really really helpful. So if someone ever tries scamming you, just go ahead and block them and then if they try scamming you again under a different display name you'll know not to trade with them because you saw that you already block them. I'm gonna be honest, I kind of find it dumb that we don't have a blocking feature in jailbreak trading where we could just stop people from trading with us, but you know, normally blocking people still works just as fine. And I know this next one is quite an obvious one, but it seems like not a lot of people know it, and it is just do not buy things for Robux. Not only is this against Roblox TOS and could easily get you banned from the entirety of Roblox, but most of the time people just end up taking your Robux and running off with it. Literally everyone I know that has traded items for Robux has ended up getting scammed and just losing all of their items of Robux. It's always a scam, trust me. I know as nice as it sounds, just spend a couple Robux on a few vehicles. It's always a scam and it's a really, really embarrassing way to get scammed as well. Now, I know Bedemo kind of tackled this one already, but always watch out for people quickly removing things from a trade while you aren't looking. This is a really, really common scam and it's happened to me as well in the past. An easy way to avoid this is just by keeping an eye on the trading chat because there it will let you know if the other person removes something from the trade and then you'll know if they're trying to scam you or not. So basically if you're accepting a trade always double check and make sure you're actually getting the items you want. Now this last one is a big one. If you don't know values just ask around and try to figure out what the value of something is. For example if you don't know what a torpedo is worth just ask a bunch of people I'm talking like 15 20 people and then figure out what the torpedo is worth using the information you got from those people. This way if you're trading you won't accidentally trade away a really valuable item that you thought was just worth nothing. So go ahead and do that if you don't know the value of something. It's probably better than using a value list. But yeah, that's five ways to avoid being scammed in Roblox jailbreak trading. If you have any other ideas, make sure to let us know down below in the comments. And yeah, with that, that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you've all enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next one.